Wait, well, <clears throat> waiter. <clears throat> well, what a pleasant surprise, sir. Or indeed, madam, we don't get much passing seal trade here at the Brasserie Saint-Germain. What can I get you, a bucket of raw fish? Please, please, please. I'm trying to avoid all that. I'm off duty today, and um, I'm away from Marine World for a couple of weeks on vacation. So I see. If I could just have a nice, quiet meal, unassuming with no fish. No fish, please. All right, I'll see what the chef recommends. Thank you. Well, sir, chef recommends a basket of quail's egg on a raspberry and ginger coulis, mm. and pan-fried veal cutlet with potatoes de quinoise and broccoli. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Shall we start? <coughs> yes. Quail's egg first. Here we go. And up. <laughs> Bit of juggling. Good. And up and catch. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You like the lot. Yes, I got it. Two quail's Two quail's eggs. And jump. Okay. Oh, where's your horn? Hang on. Meh, 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 meh. And, and both of them. Meh, meh. Yes, good, great. Right. Here comes the... That's right. So how, how old do you want to say again? Oh. Yes, you like that. Yes, you like that. Yes, you like that. Okay. Please, you're so, embarrassing me, please. No, the public, you know. I'm a sentimental nice kiss from human being. Mm. Yes, 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 that's right. Okay, and here come the Duffy North potatoes. I'm going to ride you now. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yes. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, please, I'm getting hard. Oh. <laughs> so, so I'm in here, am I? Can I have an early morning wake-up call? <laughs> a bit rude. <laughs> Walking away like... Hello? Hello. Hello, I'm, I'm Tony. I'm going to share your cell for a bit. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi. I've been here a little while. Have you? It's not very cheery, is it? No, it's not, but we can... <laughs> but we can make it a home, you know. Yes, well, I hope so. Um, I'm, I'm in for two weeks. How, how long have you been here? Fifteen years. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. Can I get you something to drink? Um, well, a <clears throat> glass of Chablis would be nice if... Um... Well, <laughs> we have to make do with what we have. Oh, all right. I should never have fiddled my VAT returns. Bit silly, really. Oh, you did? So what was it? A fraud, huh? Well, it was sort of a fraud. It was a price differential between my third quarter return and my second quarter return because originally it went to the Inland Revenue and then they stopped in and sent it back to the VAT uh, people. Uh, but then they discovered there was a discrepancy of 14%. And yes. uh, I couldn't believe it because they thought I'd done it deliberately. And to, between you and me, I actually had done it deliberately. <laughs> and so, um... This is all about you in the Daily Mail. I was reading, biggest fraud in the world. No. It says that your trial was possibly one of the most boring judicial processes <laughs> in the history of English law. That's right. Four members of the jury committed suicide. <laughs> it's nice being in the papers, huh? What are you in for, then? Well, <laughs> I'm a murderer. But not just any kind of murderer. I, I've been in for 15 years. Um... You remember those uh, group of certified public accountants that were killed and <laughs> <clears throat> baked into a shepherd's pie? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and now you've gone and spilt the former cellmate all over the place. <laughs> I don't like messy people. Not at all. And the one thing I don't like is somebody who prates on and on about their petty pecuniary crimes. You know what? You'd look good put inside of a sausage casing set up right next to a steaming heap of pilaf rice. You don't frighten me. I've got a secret weapon too. Do you know how this or why those jury members committed suicide? Why? I can recite the entire banking fraud history of Leighton Stone. All right, man. All right, man. In 1952, no, no, there was one no. of the worst ever BAT frauds. My bags are packed. Mm -hmm. They're in the hall down the other end of the pod. Fine. I'm taking our children, Eamon, and Copernicus. Go, with us. go, just go. Get your starchy little butt out of here. Take them with you. I don't care. I just want to be alone. I just want to rot on the vine. Oh, 
You cruel bitch. You're wearing that pesticide that drove me mad. Stop it. <laughs> no, 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 stop. It's no good. I don't know how to love you. I guess you're going to go and take the Rice and Weber records too, huh? Yes. Look at the stars. We're in a pod. How can we look at the stars? You're such a dreamer. I know. Do you remember Gloucestershire? Oh. When we first met? Mm -hmm. We were just little petty peas then. We could barely fill up the entire pod. Why did you let yourself go? You've turned into a huge tin of processed, marrow fat, mushy, northern type peas. Hydroponics. I can't help it. Hydroponics. I thought it was going to be a natural sort of life, but here I am with nutrients rushing in and out of me. Oh. What can I do but sit back and relax and get bloated? Oh, Is that it? If I was a thinner pea, would you be happy? If it was a slightly oblong shape, not quite so green object, would that tickle your fancy? I'm going to kiss you till you faint. 